Welcome back to Modern Art Blitz. I'm your host, Matt Gleason. This is an hour of talking contemporary art with some interesting artists in and around Southern California. In the sketcher's seat is intern Aliza. Intern Aliza sketches our guests. Earlier in the show, we had Catherine Brannock. Later in the show, we have Alice Bag. Right now, we have a legend in some parts of Southern California. You know how there's like some parts, there's like a city and then there's county. It's all right here. This is all, this is I'm all a legend, a legend right here. in some parts. In some parts of Southern California, this guy's a legend. Look, his sock is in my camera shot here. No, 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 it's a, oh, give it up for Paul Payman. <laughs> Woo. How about that Catherine Brannock, huh? Yeah, how hey, about it, how about I'm it? Inspired I'm inspired now. I want to get a tattoo. I'm thinking you're, about you're, getting you're, a, you're, you're getting a tattoo. Stamp. Have you ever had a tattoo? No. You have no tattoos? I, have, I was just telling uh, Alice, I have nothing to say to the world. Nothing to say, no, <laughs> nothing no, nothing no to tattoo. Say, no, I have nothing, nothing to, say to, to say to the world. So, yeah. so, okay, you've been an artist. Well, I've known you for, I mean, it's going on. It's been many, many, many years. Uh, 94? 94 years I've known you? Not, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's longer than I remember. I think I met you in 1994. Wow. 1994. Has it been that long? Yeah. That's a long time. Well, how, I can't count that high. What is no, that? 20, that's, that's 20, 20 something 20, years, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, Paul, you've been an artist as long as I've known you. How long have you been an artist? Were you, were you one of these kids that just knew you were an artist when you were three and that first Crayola crayon? or did it come later in life? Um, I, you know what, I was always encouraged. I was, you know, that was like one of the great things is I had teachers that were always very, very encouraging to me. They, um, from as early as sixth grade, um, That's you know, actually been outlawed now. Teachers no longer do that shit, okay? Just so you know. Yeah. You, you, you yeah. were in that one window of time where teachers were encouraging, like, yeah. like early 1980s encouraging it teachers. doesn't happen anymore and it's outlawed right it was outlawed i think it was uh, the the first the george w george h bush yeah outlawed teachers at compliant teachers now oh. it's just it's a it's back to that pink floyd song you know <laughs> grinding them up like sausage right okay so well, so so you credit teachers for making you an artist I'd, yeah i had teachers i was a musician from 14 to 25. really yeah, yeah. classical music a uh, punk rock man punk rock <laughs> yeah what was the name of your band which one? Oh, <laughs> more than one. That's did, how I came out to California. Does that mean you kept getting I came kicked out, out of here. bands because you were you were like the guy that like didn't show up to practice? You mean the drummer? The drummer. <laughs> <laughs> so so what what bands have you been in? Oh, I was in. Uh, Don't bands say the called. Beatles. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> but we spelled it B E T. Ah, two, yes. Two e's, were you the right. fifth? He was the fifth Beatle. That's so, right. <laughs> so um so so what what bands? Um, Otto's Chemical Lounge was uh, okay. uh, one of the bands I was in. The last band I was in was called the Fun Seekers, and that was the band. We were touring California. I fell in love with that out here, and I was like, I don't want to leave here. Because I'm from Minneapolis, so... Oh, know. it's cold out it's there, cold. Right? It's cold. It's yeah, cold. Did, did, you know, did you know Husker Du? Of course. Back in the day. So it's, of a, course. it's a tiny we town, were, right? We were on Husker Du's record label. Really? Yeah. yeah what, so what, what record label was that? It's called Reflex. Reflex Records. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. So, okay. yeah, we had, it was a lot of fun, but I got really tired of it. <laughs> of the whole musician? music, that, yeah. It's yeah. just, it's, the, it's. The politics of all that stuff. Well, you now, know. Okay, now you're in the art world. And I don't even want to bring up the fact, but you do you do teach the academia world. There's a little politics there, oh, right? Yeah. Help, help me out here, right? Yeah, God, God, I, I love Cypress College. How about, wait, I just wait, want wait. to start off by saying that. How about, I, how I about, how about the art world politics, though? Uh, yeah, you, you know, know, you've got to dance around all this stuff. I mean, it just, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, imagine this. To be in the art world, you gotta play art world politics. Imagine being an artist in LA where you actually have to be nice to Max Presnell. Yeah, oh my God! I mean, what a demand on you. I mean, oh boy, I don't know how you guys but do it. But you know, that's, that's how I met you because I, I immediately related to Coagula. Because the magazine. It, yeah, exactly. Because it was, <laughs> it was a fanzine. And I grew up reading fanzines. See, our, so, world, our world will always say like, wow, what is this? And it's like, it's a punk zine for the art world. It's really yeah. not that. It's like a punk zine for the art world. Enjoy it. Oh, I've never seen anything like this. It you made know. so much, but it you, made perfect sense to me. Yeah, it made, Reading Coagula, it was like, oh, I mean, it felt, I opened it and it was like, this is home. Home. You know? And you were in LA. And I was in LA. So LA. It, it, was, it was wonderful. Woo so, so, um, so you've been in LA now for that long, 24 years? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, what was it, 27, 29? I'm, I'm doing the math yeah, right now. Okay. Uh, 20, well, almost 30. Seven years. Almost 30. Yeah. Yes. Wow. More than half my life. So, so we're looking at some art here. We do have to talk about the art. Oh, yeah. What is going on here? So this is a... Uh, How is this made? Is this a, what is it? This is a painting. It's all painted. Oh, my God. I thought it was a mural on some building. What the hell is no, going this on? No, this is all painted. Wow, it's, wow, wow. Um, so this is a, a new body of work that I've been doing um, yeah, for the last couple of years. Little, I've seen you do. Yeah, a little different than what I've been doing. Okay. Um, 
but it's I'm interested in in the relationship between representation in art and abstraction. Okay. And and finding a way to reconcile. Where like, is these where two is languages. the sweet spot between those two? I'm trying to find You're it. You're trying to find it. <laughs> I'm it's, trying it's to a find search. it. The it's best art is just a question. Absolutely right. It, to me, art is always about the inquiry. It's never about the results. It's never about the but, results. But you get such great finished results. I mean, some people say, it's never about the results. Here's my pile of trash. Here's my red stripe. It's all about, it's not about the results. You, on the other hand, get results, and you're saying it's about the inquiry. It, oh, and it's absolutely about that. You know, I mean, to me, they take a long time to, to make. The, okay. the paintings take a long time. So I have to be really committed to the concept. So, like, and finding my way through it all the time. I mean, if, if, I, if I found my way through, then I'm done with the body of work. You know what I mean? That's, then you, then I'm done, at the end. Then I'm done. It, and it's yeah. about, it's, you want the continuous seeking. Exactly. And my, my previous body of work, the hybrid series, I, I did a, ser uh, a few um, ceramic pieces. Okay. And the ceramic pieces were just kind of like the period at the end of the sentence. Ah, like you were All able right. to finish it yeah, by I'm, making the object. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on. Let's see what else you got cooked up here. Are we, are we doing, a, is this all, are you giving us all the new work? Yeah, I brought all new work. Okay, so we're, we're taping, this is um, February 2017. That's correct. And, and uh, rather than watching the Oscars, where people are watching you now. Yeah, fuck the Oscars. Fuck the Oscars. Okay, so, so, so but uh, I mean. I don't think I've ever watched the Oscars once. Really? I don't even know if I've watched one you minute can, of the it's Oscars. A, actually, it's a law you have to oh, watch. Oh, I know, it. yeah. If you live in Southern California. Don't get, uh, yeah, okay. And so, you have to love Disneyland. Oh, God. If you live okay, here as well. <laughs> it, you know, a Disneyland would be great if they would just get rid of all those kids. I was going to say, yeah, the kids, right. You know, other than that, yeah. I'm, I'm down. I'm and the down. furries. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so, so, so is this photographic at all? No, no, this is, every part of it is painted. Wow, what, what kind of paint do you use? This is acrylic paint. Okay. This is all acrylic and it's all on, on wood. On wood panels? Yeah, on wood panels. Wow. This painting is five by seven feet. Oh, whoa, 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 can we show the whole painting here? Just, wow, that's five by seven feet. That's five by seven feet. And so you've, you've painted basically a naturalistic landscape there. Yes. And yeah. then, you don't know, I know in the back there, that is a Frank Gehry building. You are absolutely that right. That is, and it's the Alzheimer's facility in Vegas. That's, you are, man, you are good. And that was the only time I just lost all my money in Vegas and I drove by there <laughs> and I said, I wish I had Alzheimer's right now. That's right. better mood. So. I love okay. to forget. Wow, yes. Yeah, you know, <laughs> when you have Alzheimer's, every day you meet new people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> again and again and again. It's, 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 a, it's a great disease for, for, for the person having it. Right. Everybody around them is fucked. But, um, so, so let's go on. I mean, so the I'm, painting is of uh, the, the scene in the back is Red Rock Canyon. Okay. So you, you speaking you, of, of you, Las Vegas, you, 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 you don't go hiking. Out, you go hiking out no, there I, all the time. Yeah. You're a big, my wife guy. and I, we love going to Red Rock Canyon. Red Rock Canyon. Yeah. You're, you're nature people. Not really. No, no, kind of sometimes. I'm you know. city. I, I, I couldn't do nature. For I, like you know, I don't I'm know. Like, That's okay. a tough question. Joshua tree. Okay. That was a nice half hour. Can we go home now? Okay. So <laughs> I need to live in a city. But I like, to, I like to venture out into nature every once in a while. I say this almost every show. I'm an urban squirrel. I build my <laughs> nest on the fire escape. I like so, that. So, so, so now, what are we looking at here? This is uh, the this Grand Tetons. Now, now in what inspires the geometry here? Because you're, you're actually, you're, I see the, the sort of you know, juxtaposition. I hate yeah. that word. I'm not a pretentious art critic. But, but that's I do okay. see, you do see elements that don't normally go together, which is this kind of this urban linear thing with this naturalistic landscape. What's going on here? Okay, so the, the background's painted. Um, it's a traditional landscape painting. And one of the reasons that I chose that is because of the aerial perspective or the perspective in it, right? I'm trying to think of, like, if I'm, if I'm going to paint something representationally, it's, it's all about creating space, the, the illusion of space in painting, right? And so the architecture on front and the top, those are taken from uh, architectural renderings and drawings of buildings. Um, which are incredibly flat, right? I mean, they're, they're geometric shapes. And so then those are overlaid on top. But one of the problems that I had with it, at first I wanted to create these like small little gaps or these little windows, but they didn't show enough. So I wanted to start showing a little bit more. So, um, you know, for me, the visual game is always about reveal and conceal. How much do you show? How much do you not show? How much do you leave to the so viewer's you, imagination? you were trained in strip tees. <laughs> um, of a sort, yes. <laughs> okay. With a brush. <laughs> With a brush, exactly. Um, so this one, this is uh, the third one that I did, and this has uh, plexiglass overlays that are tinted plexiglass. Oh, so there's, some, there's a little cheating here. This is not pure painting. Well, they're all painted now. So the problem that I had with the plexiglass is I couldn't get enough. Oh, I couldn't control it this enough. This is an earlier work in the series. Yeah, this okay, is an let, earlier let, work. Let's in see the, the let's see the next let's see the next slide here then. 
So some of, and wait. that little piece on top that's right, uh, right to your, le your left-hand side, that's wood. That's wood. Yeah, that's, that's wood. Yeah, yeah so there, yeah, look, there are wood. layers on top of this. It's wood. Okay, yeah, okay. And um, so they're also, they're, there's also something very physical about them as well, uh. which, you know, I mean, right now they look, you know, they're digital. They look like they're all digitally done, but when you see them in person, the encounter they've got a, is a, with a physical object. Absolutely. You're, you're not looking for that thing. Yeah. Now, do you have, do you have like, like maybe back in Minnesota, a relative or two who go, well, why don't you just paint the landscapes? Do they ever do oh, they yeah. say that? To yeah, you? of course. Yeah. All the, People, all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah? My, my kids go, why don't you take those things off? Just get rid of that junk. <laughs> Big shout out to Reed and Shosh. Of something, right? <laughs> yes. Why, so, so look, now, can, can we get a full shot of this? What are we looking at here? Okay, this is um, just outside of Oslo, Norway. Wow. And um, I did it. I had a show in Oslo. Um, I've had a couple shows now in Oslo. Um, <laughs> okay, so you're, you're big in Oslo. Uh, I, I appear in Oslo every so often. You just How's make that? an appearance. Yeah, I make an appearance in Oslo every so often. Yeah, I make an appearance yeah. in Downey every once in a while, so I, I can kind I of... I have away. made appearances in Downey really? as well, yeah. Yeah, oh boy. Chris and Pitts? <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> yeah, right? I remember that, yeah. I live okay. yeah, in Downey. So, 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 uh, so you were in Oslo? Yeah, and so this is, this is one of the pieces that I did when I was there. Okay. And I was there for um, the first show, I was there for like two and a half weeks. And then the second one was uh, last fall, and I was there for just 10 days. 10 days? Yeah. That's like about nine days more than I think I could stand being in Oslo. Is it cold there? That's the first thing I think. Any, anywhere in Europe, is it cold? Um, it's so far north. Yeah. It is cold, but I'm It's kind so far of, north, it's cold, but it's warm. But I'm kind of accustomed to it. How are you? Because you're from well, Minnesota. Because uh, I'm from Minnesota. Wait, but you moved to LA, the blood thins out like that. You're you know? absolutely right. I'm solar powered. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I need the sun. I, like this, Do you, you only know, go there in the summer? Yeah, absolutely. You summer in Oslo. We summer in Oslo. Um, How's the art market in Oslo? It's really good. You know, it's the richest country in the world. What? Yeah, you didn't know Oslo this? Oslo is a country? Oslo is a country. Norway is. Norway no, is the, the richest country? The country of Norway country? is wait, the richest wait, country in the you, world. Wait, Well, outside of Dubai, okay? But it's still... Dubai's... The, okay, is Dubai, is Dubai like three people have money in Dubai and they're just like renting No, everything. but the, the thing is in Norway, there's the population's like four to five million people. Four to five million people. And they've, they've struck oil. They and, struck oil. And because it's a semi-socialist country, it's distributed throughout every citizen throughout oh, the country. It's as if you have stock in the country. Absolutely right. Oh. Yeah, so it's an incredibly wealthy country. Really? Tesla's everywhere. Really? They love them, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. I have a friend from Sweden who just says, we want, we want Norway back. Now <laughs> I we bet know, they do. Yeah. Now we know why he wants That's Norway right. back. Oh, That's okay. right. Okay, I have yeah. no idea. I'm no, learning. it's a, Norway's a I guess we a should place. just... Fuck art and have a show about global politics. Shouldn't we? There we go. What do you think of the Sultan of Brunei when he well, found out? Well, we're gonna out, have to open this up. To when he found out somebody. Norway was richer than him, he got a little pissed off. I think, think so. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the next. Uh, let's see the next artwork here. This was the very first one I did. Oh, this is the first of the series. This is the very first. There's in some the series, objects yeah. here. Yeah. So this is again with plexiglass, and and after I finished it, um, it sat around in my studio for I, I don't know maybe a year, year and a half. Ooh. And um, because I couldn't, I couldn't cut it the way that I wanted to cut it. Oh, no. And so I spoke to a friend of mine in Norway, and his job was cutting these things out. So I can do the drawing in Illustrator, and then, I mean, it pretty much outputs it. And he's rich from cutting those and things out. And he's rich. And here, That's absolutely I would have right. an intern do it for, how much do I pay you? Not much. Not okay, enough. <laughs> how much? <laughs> Apparently, you're going to need she an draws. internship in, Nor in Norway. So let's see, while we were gabbing. Uh-huh. Oh, what this looks like. Let's see what the sketcher seat. Aliza is in the sketcher seat. She made you look good. <laughs> what? Hey! She made you look, she made Somebody you look has to good. do that. I gotta say, she made you look pretty damn good. Whoa, hey. Hey, hey kinda, whoa, look at you're that. Kinda, you're kinda you're getting a little, uh, little, uh, wow, yeah, the, the, the sketcher seat has gotten a little, uh, you're looking a little Don Juan there. I don't hey, know. I man. think she needs a promotion. Yeah, whoa! Oh, okay. There it is right there. Yeah. Props to Paul. Paul Payment, thank you very much thank for being on Modern My Art pleasure. Blizz, and good luck in Oslo and abroad. Yes. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Stars arrive daily.